Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Discworld 2! When we last left off, we reached the epilogue, and as it is a Discworld game, the epilogue has action in it, in the form of a giant elf queen having grabbed the librarian and climbing up a tall structure in Ankh-Morpork. This is definitely not from any movie that anyone would ever know. Let's talk to Granny here. Bladders! Get your bladders here! It is important that we do! Hello there, young man. Having a good day? This is clearly some attempt at sarcasm. It is. Haven't you got anything better to do than sit here all day? Well, it's not every day I get to see a man torn to pieces by a giant elf. Oh, yes. Point taken. Hmm. Hmm. No. I haven't even asked it yet. Oh, all right. Ask away. That's better. Now, can I have the flying broom, please? No. Right. There, see? It doesn't hurt to follow the correct forms. Now, if you don't mind, it looks like I'll have to get busy going on a silly quest to wrinkle the wretched thing out of you. You won't need to do that. Waiting to see me get croaked, is she? Only the fact that this is the last scene of the game makes me refrain from saying something really acidic. We can get that, um, room. Are you sure this is where you want to be? I mean, it's not exactly safe, is it? I don't know. The safest place seems to be wherever you are. I heard all those comments you made about the animation budget, you see. She's right there, you know. We're going to have to figure out a way... Well, that's it for now. ...to get that broom. Ah, the raven. I'd best leave it alone. Granny might get jealous. Oh, God! Sorry, got carried away again. I do hope the little fella's OK up there. I'll rescue him soon. <laughs> Snappy for the red man's trumpet. <laughs> Millennium hand and shrimp. Yes, it is very romantic, isn't it? <laughs> Go on, bugger it. <laughs> Front the biscuit for a sneaky trouser. <laughs> I told them. You're just an old softy under that crust, aren't you? Of course, she is rather tall, but they do say size isn't important. Actually, they do make a beautiful pair, you know. <laughs> Buggery? <laughs> I mean the librarian of the giant. Do you think we should rescue him, Dean? Hmm? Um, well, I, I was just wondering if we might have to rescue her. Perhaps we'd better just let nature take its course? Got a horse, did you say? How's he going to get it up that tower with that big woman in the way? We need to find a way to get that broom. Aha! The raven! For asking about the raven. This is the way of doing it. You can swap minds with this raven, can you? Yes, I'm very good at it. Oh, go on. You can't possibly manage to put all your knowledge and experience into that tiny little avian brain. <laughs> of course I can. Just watch. What a clever woman. Clever, yet oddly dumb. Oh, there we go. We have a broom. Now we're cooking. I've always wanted to try one of these. You're about to. Bladders! Get Let us your use bladders here. the broom. Well, we're on the right track. Well, we're on the right track. Okay, broom with bladders? Let's do it. I can't put that into the bladders. Okay, fine. Hmm, what am I doing wrong here? What am I doing wrong? Hmm... I suppose you just have to use it. Well, we're on the right track! No, 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 what, what am I doing wrong? I've got to use the broom. Bladders! Get your bladders here! Or we could just go to the tower. I can't just climb up the wall. And you can't use the door either. We can't use the broom on the tower. Well, we're on the right track. Ridswind, tell me what the right track is. Well, we're on the right track. Bladders, get your bladders here. Can't use it on luggage. <coughs> well, luggage... Let's just leave him alone. Luggage will just eat it, so not really the best plan. We could use the bladders on ourselves. What do you want me to do with that? Fly away on it or something? Kind of. I want you to fly away on the broom. That won't help me get up there. Well, we have 
the broom. Your typical flying witch's broom. Looks like it's passed its 1,000 mile warranty. It probably has passed its 1,000 year warranty. Can we fly on it well, now? Well, we're on the right track. No, apparently we can't. Bladders! Get your bladders here! I want to fly on the broom. Game, I want to fly on the broom. You're not letting me fly on the broom. I wish I could fly on the broom right now. That would be cruel. What, talking to her while she is, uh, swapped minds? Now, Granny isn't the sort who suffers fools gladly. As a suffering fool myself, I'll go along with that. We need to save here, because right now we are not actually getting to where I want to be. I actually want to ride on the broom and finish the game. But at the moment, the game is denying me this. I have this canteen that we are not using, by the way, in any stretch of the imagination. Oh wait! We need to fill the bladders with water, don't we? And we have water! It's water of life! From the Fountain of Youth! That's where I'm going bladders. wrong! Get your bladders here! That's where I'm going wrong, we need to fill the bladders! There we go. Animal bladders filled with water. We could be onto something here. We are onto something! We're going to finish the game now! The final action! Use broom! On Rincewind! Ta-da! Takes a bit to get going. Off you go, Rincewind! This is definitely not from any movie I've seen before. The dead are supposed to rest in peace, you know. Run! It's a falling giant woman. And that's another thing. In my day, girls were sweet, demure little thing. Not 60 foot tall monsters like you apparently get now. And I'm also pretty sure that in my day, they all actually wore something under the... Sometime later. So, it's you at last, is it? So where do you think you've been? Sorry, it's been a bit of a confusing week. Confusing? I've been undead since half past ten on Tuesday morning. I mean, I wouldn't complain, but I lost 17 pence just on blowfish since I died. You'd think the afterlife would be cheaper, wouldn't you? Well, I've said sorry, haven't I? Come on, let's have a curry before we go. My treat. Ah, well, all right, uh, he's rather decent of you. And now he's free. By the way, I tried strangulation, drowning, poison, traffic accidents. I even listened to improvised jazz music. But that just made me wish I was dead. Or that the musicians were dead at any rate. How did I finally manage to go? You got sat on by a giant elven queen. Now there's one I never thought of trying. Still, if you gotta go... The end. And now the credits. There's a place you're always welcome. That's as nice as We've seen the credits be. before. Everyone can get in, cause it's absolutely free. I wonder what happens Back if I skip them. Death. Let's find out. No need I'm to gonna press the button. Breath. You can't. Just lie around all day. Press escape, maybe? With no ah, escape. We've already seen the credits. We've already seen the credits. They were at the beginning, if you recall. So, that indeed is Discworld 2, Missing Presumed. And I really like Discworld 2. It's not as big in many respects as Discworld 1, because Discworld 1 had a lot more locations and a lot more people to talk to. However, it's got a very unique art style, and I love the humour in Discworld 2. And the plot, of course, is very funny. 
all the interactions you have with death and the various things that Rincewind comes up with, with his increasing fourth wall breakage. There is another game in the Discworld um, universe, Discworld Noir. And Discworld Noir is exceptionally difficult to get working. I really like Discworld Noir, but it doesn't have as much of the humour as Discworld 1 and 2, as the protagonist is, by definition, not aimed at humour so much. However, if I ever do get the game working reliably, and I hope I can, or if it is uh, released in a manner that makes it easier to play, I'm pretty sure we'll be returning to the world of Discworld. For now, however, there is only one more small thing that I will try and get working in the actual um, Discworld 2. But we have in fact reached the end of the game. And with that, the end of another Let's Play. I'm very glad that I've managed to be able to return to Discworld 2, because Discworld 2 is a game of my youth. Not so much as Discworld 1, because I got Discworld 2 a, a bit later. <laughs> But it's still something that I remember very fondly. And hopefully, it will not be, by any stretch of the imagination, the last point-and-click adventure game I play. In fact, I have a few plans for a couple of them coming up after this one. If I will play a point-and-click adventure game right after this one, who can say? Who can say what game will next be played? But I really like this game. I really like it. And hopefully, you've liked watching it too! So, I'm Kikoskia, and this was Let's Play Discworld 2 Missing Presumed. Until next time, folks. For when we come back, there will be a new Let's Play in the Sunday slot. And we all know what that means. No more Ridswind for a while. He can go back to having a break. For, you know, he's gone through an entire game. He's probably lost a lot of money buying stuff off Dibbler, and he just wants a well-earned relaxation time. So I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.